like it. It's 52 inches wide. It's the State Plow by Seiko Country. Stay tuned in this video. We're going to put this plow on the four-wheeler. You'll see me plow in the driveway. And make sure you stick around at the end. We're going to use that Artillian grapple for the first time. We do lots of fun stuff on this channel with the snow plow, snow blowers, tractors, attachments, a lot of outdoor work, some firewood, log splitters, chainsaws. If you like stuff like that, make sure you click that subscribe button, click the bell beside it so you get notified when we put out new videos. We'd love it if you click the like button and comment below. We'd like to hear what you're doing in your neck of the woods. Just getting ready to put the snow plow on this four-wheeler. If you didn't watch our last video about the Jeep used tires and this great uh, air tool, make sure you check that one out. 2, 2.5. We're going to use the snow plow today to do some clearing of the driveway. If you haven't yet, go back and watch all our Toro Power Max snow blower videos. I think we've got six or seven on the channel now. It's a great machine, absolutely does a, a great job. But I wanted to show you before the snow blower how I used to plow the driveway. So I'm going to put the state plow onto the front of the Honda Foreman. I'll show you that process and then we'll go out and do some plowing in the driveway. As you can see, I kept some of the carpet when we put new carpet in the house. It's a great spot to work here to put the plow on. I can adjust the position of the four-wheeler just by hand by pushing on the tire until I get the hole lined up. pin through and I like to put the cotter pin so that it's facing so it's pushed in the way the direction of the snow would push when I'm pushing forward once one side's on you kind of have to jiggle the plow around a little bit to get the other side through There's a little winch on here that lifts the plow using a cable and this strap. I just always keep the strap right, right attached to the cable here so I don't lose it in the summer months. And I attach it to the top here and I wrap it around itself twice like this. Then you can see I've got this cable on the front of the four-wheeler. It attaches right here. Here's the Cycle Country plow control. So I turn the key to the four-wheeler on for power. And you can hear it does make that winch cycle when I press up and down. So I'll show you what that's doing. So I want this cable to get all the way up to here. So I'm going to release it using the winch. Now I don't make this real tight. It doesn't need to be really tight. But you'll see now that when I push the button, it will actually lift the plow up. Let's go ahead and start the four-wheeler up so you'll see when it's running. There's down. There's up. Now I can only lift it so high because these bars would hit the support of the plow frame. So I could go another about inch high 
but that's all the higher I can lift this plow with the four-wheeler. There is a pull pin here that lets you angle the plow. I'll back out and show you some more cool things that I really like about this plow. You can see the brand. This is a Cycle Country State Plow. And that's because this right hand edge is taller and more curved than the left hand side. I looked it up before making this video. This plow is about 20 years old and I paid $600 for it and that included the winch that's on it, all the mounting accessories, the skid plate that goes underneath to mount to, the electronic control, uh, the electronic control wired in. It also has this nice rubber flap that keeps the snow from coming up and spraying you in the face as much. But I really like this wide, tall angle here on the right hand side. Most of the time when I'm plowing, I will angle this to the right so that as snow accumulates, it pushes off this side. That allows it to kind of curl off and sit on the side. You can see it could use a coat of paint. And this winter I have not yet used this because I've been using the Toro snowblower. But the plow does a great job. The roller does a nice job. The only complaint I'd have is that when you get multiple snows in a row, the driveway starts to get more and more and more narrow because the four-wheeler is not strong enough to push your plow row that you've already established further back. So that usually would mean that I'd have to get the front end loader and scoop that snow to move it further away. Now with the snow blower, that's a lot easier. You can just blow that side road right down. But uh, let's get outside and do some plowing. Like you've seen before, we have a long driveway. It's got multiple turns in it. That means it's pretty wide because we tow the camper, we tow several trailers through here, and it's necessary to be wide. So some spots were about 12 feet wide, some spots were about 14 feet wide. And obviously the plow can't do that much width. So you'll see I start in the middle, make a middle track, and then I widen out from the edges as I go back and forth. Right now in the driveway, we probably only have about four, five, six inches of snow maybe. It's packed down in the tra tire track areas because we've been in and out a couple times. But moving this will be helpful in the future. It's going to warm up, this will turn to slush, and then it's going to refreeze overnight. So clearing as much off of the driveway as possible will really help out in the future when it refreezes. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell beside it. We'd really appreciate comments down below and click that like button.